is Dr. Carter here. Um, you're I'm looking right now, as you can see, at your Project 1, and I thought maybe these videos might be more helpful to students, so I should be done with this with the grading soon. Anyway, um, love the title, um, the concept, terrorism in the Marvel comic universe, um, but I am a little bit confused by some of the choices here in terms of sources and uh, argument uh, that uh, there does seem to be some kind of a disconnect between the two. Um, let's see. So, uh, you have, um, let's see where I can go with this. You're looking at all Marvel comics, I guess, and uh, you're looking at the films, and you're looking uh, at the relationship between the films and comics. Um, the idea that blockbuster films are, are uh, new, I guess, and let's see, um, they combat the issue of terrorism as it attempts to oppress various societies in America and around the globe. Okay, so if that seems that seems to be an interesting uh, topic, I'm not sure if that's what you and Dr. Gonzalez um, uh, worked on together and how he feels about that. Um, and I, I just certainly I really like this last part a little bit more. It's just that it's murky considering this, um, you know, the, the uh, perceived goals of, of social justice, and it's not quite clear why Marvel is the focus, except that they're um, they're very prolific with their movies, etc. So um, here, this is my biggest question, though. Um, you're looking at uh, a number of resources that I'm not quite sure. Uh, uh, help directly the project that you're working on. Um, so, uh, I, you know, I'm sure you can make an argument for why this first one uh, is that is, you know, post 9-11. Is that post 9-11 going to be one of your focus, focal points? Um, if so, you know, maybe this works. Uh, uh, it does make you, you will need to deal with the uh, dystopian literature. Is that going to, can you do that? And also, uh, keep the kind of social justice angle. I mean, these are things that you want to talk with your um, uh, academic faculty advisor on, Dr. Uh, Dr. Gonzalez. Um, this one's definitely a Marvel Comics one. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, Journal of Bat Public Culture. Okay, Popular Culture. Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, I'm not sure, except maybe theoretically, the connection between um, what you're working on and uh, why institutionalization, except that you're talking about the, the, the adaptations between cinema and comics and so forth. Uh, I, you know, terrorism in modern literature, that seems like a really important one. You do have a misspelling there. You want to make sure you clear that up before you show it to your faculty sponsor. Um, and uh, you've got some other hero things. So this is, um, this is a nice model, I think, right here. Um, that blockbuster meets superhero comic or uh, what uh, might be a good idea to do is, is sort of build your um, uh, your project from this this focal point. What are you adding uh, to the uh, conversation that this particular article hasn't already done? And why the focus on Marvel versus others where this guy, is, I guess, has a larger uh, ground that he's covering? So anyway, that would be those would be my basic suggestions that um, uh, I'd like to for you to see if you can do a little a light uh, revision of the piece up here at the, the I mean the abstract that you proposed. And I know that it's kind of difficult to get these things um, uh, figured out early on when you're uh, just starting the project. But the sharper fo the sharper focus you have on this, uh, the the easier that the projects will be to go. You know when you have to look for more sources as you will with the project two, and then eventually annotate them and so forth. So yeah, uh, my main uh, question is just uh, what is the conversation you're entering, and I do see some of that conversation represented in some of your sources, and I think that you can bring those up into this piece, especially if you if you situate your argument within the boundaries of uh, of the one article that seems to have the most to do with your work. I hope that helps. Ask me any time. I told as I told you guys, you have um, the uh, you have until Friday to submit these. Um, uh, contracts the final version and uh, uh, I apologize that I haven't quite gotten to everybody's but I hope this will be helpful. Thanks.